Hello and welcome to day number nine for Star Ladder Star Series Season 5. And the first game of the day of the four matches that are going to be happening is um, one that a lot of you people have been watching out for. It is going to be Virtus Pro taking on Team Empire. And now um, a lot will say like, okay, that guy, has, that, that team has been in a slump lately. That team has underperformed lately. But I will tell you what it's like. I will tell you what these two teams have as a history between them. Um, I have to say, the most recent match they, they, they were supposed to play is only three days ago. Uh, but that game actually was um, forfeited by Virtus Pro as they were not able to play in the EMS 1. But last week, well, a bit of a one and a half week ago, they played in the D2L. They played a best out of three and Empire came out on top. Now we do know, of course, that Virtus Pro is very is still a very strong team in Empire. Same story for them. They have dropped a couple of stitches, if I can call it that way. It's maybe a Dutch thing. Uh, over the last couple of days, as we can see here, the standings for the Star Ladder. Virtus Pro, they are on top of their game in the Star Ladder Star Series. They've got 12 points, only dropped one game so far. Empire. They are one game behind. They have this exact same amount of games played, so five games played, but just one extra loss to their name with nine points uh, on the board. So we're going to see if Empire is going to make it even on points and uh, make it exactly even with Virtus Pro, or if we're going to see El Pro, oh, sorry, Virtus Pro um, surpassing El Pride as well and then just getting ahead. Whoops, what's that? The right. So uh, let's see what these two teams are going to be doing with each other. By the way, um, I did say the D2L match that they had. Uh, the, before that, it's about. Almost a month ago, Virtus Pro beat Empire in the defense, which is also best out of three. And then before that, El Empire beat Virtus Pro a couple of times. But that's all so long in the past that that really doesn't matter anymore. That's already last year, even. Um, we have got ourselves a Wisp and a Bad Rider and a Nyx Assassin and a Magnus Ten being banned seconds, out. Man. And Empire managed to pick themselves up a Dark Seer as their first pick. Five seconds, giving Virtus Pro the chance to pick up a Keeper of the Light if they wanted to, because that one is still in the pool. And they are actually going to go into reserve time for their first pick. We also, of course also still have uh, the Bane, the Ma the, the Lifestealer, the two heroes that we see a lot lately as well as of course the Gyrocopter, which is still in the pool. And I, I do believe both of these teams, they have still, they have kind of got a bit of the same play style. And there's indeed the Gyrocopter and the Bane, so that made sure that if... If Lifesteal is going to get picked up there by Empire, they will already have a Bane to uh, to shut him down. At the same time, Empire can just pick up a Rubik if they want to. Rubik is easily countered by the Bane, because uh, you can just steal the Fiend's Grip. As the Fiend's Grip, of course, is a channeling spell and it's very easy to channel spells. To steal channel spells. There we go. Um, but yeah, Bane and, and Gyrocopter Ten by themselves remaining. are also already a good combination for Virtus Pro. They have got, of course, that Nightmare Five coming up to a, a Rock Up Barrage from the Gyrocopter. A very good setup. They could still pick up the Keeper of Light if exactly. Empire lets them to. Uh, but we're gonna see. We, so far, a Dark Seer is a very versatile role. Now, we have seen him yesterday played by uh, played by Goblack, the Dark Seer that is. So we might see that again. But of course, it's also one of Funnick's uh, signature heroes. So who knows what we're going to see out of Empire right now. The whole board is wide open and everything can be picked up whichever they wanted to. And the thing about Empire is they can play so many different li lineups that you can't really, you know, if it would be Fnatic, I would say, oh my god, here comes, uh, I know Wisp is banned out, but here comes Wisp CK. Their go-to lineup. But Empire, they, they do have a couple of go-to lineups, but not one standard one. I mean, we know we all know Phonix, Glinks, and then Empire's aggressive trialing, but they like to use a Gara couple for that, so that's not going to happen. And they actually pick up an Enchantress. So that's going to be uh, Empire going into the jungle already and picking up a Rubik Steel. So that Rubik pickup is not really a surprise. The Enchantress pickup, however, it kind of... Um, it kind of limits their options, at least aggressive trialing. It has been done with Enchantress in the enemy jungle. But it's not really something that is all too common. And we're gonna see if that's that's indeed something that Empires want to try wants to try out. Uh, one thing that I also have to note is that Empire really loves playing up the uh, picking up the silence or loved I should say. They did. Uh, they did um, do it for mo remaining. that that was this is a team that picks silence are up most so far. Five seconds uh, and of course we have Medusa in the game, uh, but uh, she has not been seeing the light of day yet uh, as far as uh, I'm concerned, or at least I haven't seen her in any of my cast yet, or any of the cast that I watched, but who knows. Empire might be one of those teams that likes to try out new heroes the moment that they, when they are out. 
same thing I did with the silencer. Anyway, Virtus Pro, they're gonna be picking up uh, a hero next. I mean, both of these teams already dropping into their bonus time quite heavily. There is still a life steer. So that's gonna be even more cha more uh, case for uh, for Virtus Pro to not have that Fiend script stolen by the Rubik because that's just such a shutdown for him. Now the thing about this lineup is that we probably can see a life stealer in a solo lane with an aggressive trailer with a Garrocopter and the Bane. And if we're already expecting that, I mean, there's more or more options though. Uh, there is more options. This is, by the way, the highest that my volume can be. And I know that I am actually audible for a lot of people. But if it's not audible for your, you, then you should turn up your own sound. So, um, But, um, like, Gyrocopter could be going into the mid lane as well, and then having a lifestealer on the tri lane, that could, or a dual lane, that could work out as well. But, um... One thing that we have seen being done is Lifestealer on the solo short lane and then an aggressive tri lane with a Garrocopter, Bane and whichever other support they are wanting to pick up. Which is why Empire is going to be battling out some extra supports just so that tri lane is not going to be working out all too well for Virtus Pro. Or at least not with a support that uh, Empire is going to be battling out. At the same time for Virtus Pro... If you if you're thinking about what you can ban out against Empire right now, it's it's pretty simple because they've they've got an Enchantress, they've got a Dark Seer, so the only thing that they still want to have is a carry to go together with that Rubik and a solo mid. So that's the heroes that you want to ban out. Virtus Pro started off with banning out the Phantom Lancer, so that's going to be one of them. And we of course also still have um, carries in there that Empire likes to play like, or sorry, solo mids uh, like the Templar Assassin. I have to say, a Templar Assassin is a hero that we haven't really seen that much in the Western scene, or at least I haven't remaining. seen her that much. But today I happen to see her quite often in the uh, in the Ghost of Cup Asia. So maybe, maybe we're going to see Scandal playing that one. With the uh, more carries being banned out for Virtus Pro, that's going to be an anti-mage. And the Nature's Prophet was a ban out for Empire, so that's uh, gonna be a solo lane being banned out for that. Uh, assuming that Garrocopter is then gonna be going into the mid, or at least Empire might be thinking that, and then Lifestealer and Bane gonna be on a la lane together. And then just need an uh, and a support or a jungle hero and a uh, solo off lane. I mean, those are still on the pool. We still have the Beastmaster and the Windrunner. I mean, you name it. You name it. Oh, by the way, for all the people wondering, uh, I thought Toby was streaming that. Uh, he is remaining. actually he he would he would have, but um, he was um, he didn't realize that this game was going on, so he is not here right now. So, unfortunately for you, he won't be casting uh, Starlighter today. So you're stuck with me. Or uh, there's also an English caster, as Baskip. He is uh, casting from Dota TV. If you really cannot stand the sound of my voice, but hey, if you didn't, if you don't, then you would have muted me, so then you would have wouldn't have heard my awesome tip. So you know, jokes on you. We've got the faces void being banned out, so Virtus Pro just banning out all the go-to carries that they do not want to face from Empire right now. So we're gonna be curious to see what Empire is gonna work out to uh, to pick up instead. They don't really need to pick up their their carry just yet. They could also pick up their solo mid just to make sure that Virtus Pro doesn't pick that up. If they're afraid of, uh, of that, we have the Bounty Hunter being banned out for the last one for Empire, so that's another solo offlane banned out, and that is gonna be the Puck, so their solo mid is uh, gonna be that. We still, of course, have the Queen of Pain in the pool, so uh, it was a choice, the Scandal, Puck or Queen of Pain? Puck it is. Uh, Puck, of course, the hero that we have seen up against Queen of Pain quite a bit lately, but I think he's gonna be up against a Garrocopter right now, and of course a very nice hero against a Garrocopter also, I mean, you can dodge out half of the Rock Barrage with that phase shift level 1. So that is uh, that is probably one of the reasons why we're gonna see a, a puck in this game. Five if there's an the yeah, Empire is then definitely assuming that Garrocopter is gonna be going mid. As a Virtus Pro gonna take into their bonus time a little bit more. Like I said, they either pick up a jungle hero or another support and then uh, a solo lane with that. And if we're gonna assume Garrocopter is gonna be going mid, then uh, any kind of solo long lane would do. We could even see... Uh, we saw one today. And I really hope that we're gonna see one later on as well, maybe, maybe. We haven't seen him in ages in the Asian scene though, or at least I haven't. A Tidehunter! So that is one that could be picked up. I'm not, I actually, I don't think he's gonna, especially not with the Rubik on Ten the other side already. Remaining. Same thing goes for an uh, Enigma at that. Um, I mean, Five it would be a good jungle remaining. hero still for Virtus Pro, but... 
It's not really uh, not really ideal when you have a Rubik on the other side. It's so gonna be Alina, of course, combining up with that Bane pretty nicely. Would it could have been a Lashrak at that case as well, just with the stun followed up on the uh, Nightmare to um, to perfectly start something off. And so they have two disables and an open wound to slow the target down to chase him down until he's dead. So looking good for Virtus Pro in a tri lane. It could indeed be an aggressive tri lane, leaving Virtus Pro to open up for a still a solo remain. lane. To um, to solo short lane, remaining. so we could actually see something like a cling still or a weaver, or uh, actually we've se we've seen basically any heroes standing there at the uh, at the, <laughs> the short lane solo. Can be anything, another carry, and as a lot of people have been have been saying lately, like the thing about them, uh, the thing about. Uh, <laughs> about the lineups lately it, it feels Ten as if you know the team with the most scary wins and of course you want to have some kind of safety nets uh, on your lanes with having supports and stuff but if Virtus Pro picks up a, a, a carry there as their last one again I mean they're looking pretty strong with the life starter and a gyrocopter and whichever hero they're gonna be picking up next personally I would like to see a more controlly hero though I mean they're up against now a song from the Naga Siren um, a lot of AoE damage, AoE control from the Puck, AoE control from the Darkseer. So why not have some AoE st stuff for themselves as well? But then again, which hero would you be going for? Maybe a Brewmaster or something, or an uh, like a Nigma is it? I mean, it's it's team fight, yeah. But I just said already that there is a Rubik on the other team, and that is gonna be you know Enigma and Bane. Having things to steal for the Rubik is gonna have a fun time. Like if you steal something from the Lina, it's gonna be good regardless because you're you're gonna have either AoE damage to go together with your vacuum and your dream coil and an AoE stun or a Laguna Blade. So all three are good for the Lina. You can be trying to steal a black hole, you can be trying to steal Fiend Script, it is all possible. The Virtus Pro looking looking solid and the Naga Siren well looking solid even with that Rubik there, but Naga Siren Picked up by Empire was their last pickup, so that is going to be their carry uh, hero that we haven't seen as a carry for a while. We have seen her picked up a couple of times as a support, actually. But uh, carry, no, but we are going to see how uh, she is going to be doing in this game. Of course, she has the song, she has the setup for a vacuum into something that the Rubik stole or into a dream coil. I mean, they. Like they have, they have okay heroes. Don't get me wrong, but if I'm being asked right now, which lineup would you find stronger? Like right now, I would say Virtus Pro. They have got a life stealer and a gyrocopter, and their tri lane is looking solid. With a dual lane from Empire, and yes, they have an enchanter, so they will have some extra farm inside that jungle that Virtus Pro is not going to get. So that's that's a slight advantage there. But I'm not really thinking. Um, I'm 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 not well. We're gonna have to see, you know. I can continue guessing, but why not just let the teams tell us the story as uh, the game is gonna start soon, as, mo as soon as uh, Virtus Pro thinks that we are ready to go. So let's just um, go over everything real quick about who's playing what. It's gonna be Goblack playing the Enchantress, Blow Your Brain on the Naga Siren, Silence is gonna be playing the Darks here, it will be Scandal up on the Puck, and the last one is gonna be Funic again on the Rubik, the second time in a row that we see that one as he. Um, well, I have to say, normally I wouldn't see him on the Rubik, uh, especially not as a support. Uh, but then again, and normally he's going to be on the Darks here. Like, they have been switch switching around a bit. Yesterday it was uh, Goblack on the Darks here. And uh, today it is Silent on the Darks here. And uh, still Funic again on the Rubik. Now I have to say, he did a very nice job yesterday on his Rubik, though. Don't get me wrong, he did a very nice job. And he can, of course, be doing the same thing again here, as we can, as we know that there is a lot to see on Virtus Pro that would actually benefit his team. So I think he's going to be having a good time regardless. But uh, but that's going to be his uh, his hero. And that was the last one for Empire. Let's take a look at who's playing what for Virtus Pro. We have Airman on his life sealer. NS on the Bane. It's going to be KSI playing the Lina. Tamar Wild on the Gyrocopter. Indeed, then going to go mid. And Santa will be on the Enigma. And um, I think he's going to be in the jungle. And that means that they're going to leave the bottom lane entirely open. Because uh, it looks like these two are just sticking around here. Uh, three, I should say. Uh, and we have seen teams that leave that entire bottle lane open. And Virtus Pro has done that before as well. And with good results. 
might not be the, the thing that I would do, but you know, you can't really, if you can't do anything there anyway, and if you think you're gonna go down, if you stick around there, then, you know, just leave it. And I mean, with Goblak being in that jungle as well, the ganking potential from, from Empire is pretty big, so you can't get complacent thinking you're gonna be two versus, uh, versus three. No, there's gonna be someone that you can't see all the time around in the jungle. And of course, also, if you're then gonna go on someone, there would either be a telekinesis or, you know, there would be an ensnare and you would be stopped in your tracks and you might get killed off in return. So they're just gonna leave it open. It's their call. We're gonna have Silent. He's not gonna leave the top lane open for him. He is going to be putting up the iron shell on creeps and pushing the lane out. That means, though, he doesn't have a surge at level 1. So I might be having uh, some issues with that as we have got a nice ward up on the high ground. The ward already being placed here. Very, um... I was very defensive. It doesn't reach this th with this one though, which is quite unorthodox. As in, if you're going to counter ward anyway, then at least make sure that you have that one sorted. Uh, Sentry ward to counter the Sentry ward. Interestingly enough. I don't think Sentry Wars do that much, but then again, you know, Battle of the Sentry Wars, let it begin, and the first blood is already missed by me, and it's gonna be the Darkseer on the top lane. I really didn't think he was gonna go out that far, considering he didn't pick up a Surge, but the Nightmare, followed up by a Light Strike Array, Open Wounds, and that's gonna be a clean kill. And, you know, anybody could have told you that, and that should have been not happening. That should have been silent, not there, I mean, he was, he was right there or something, that's... That's not something where you should be at if, if you don't have your escape. I'm gonna blame it on Silent that I missed that first blood. There we have it. Scandal up against uh, the Gyrocopter. As said, Gyrocopter's Rocket Barrage will be dodged by, uh, by Scandal slightly by the uh, Face Shift, but if it's only gonna stick at level 1, it doesn't dodge it out completely, so he'll still take some damage with that. Oh. Uh, Naga Siren is gonna have a happy time free farming on uh, the uh, bottom lane. She's gonna be, uh, she's gonna be doing okay there. I mean, we're not really going to be paying attention to her unless, unless there's a rotation from uh, from Virtus Pro to try and do something there. And that's uh, already flat and being skilled up by Team Mobile, so that is going to be the start of them being aggressive. And another Sentry Word to counter word the Sentry Word. I, you know, the Battle of the Sentry Word has indeed uh, begun. And this, by the way, right now is the only lane where there's going to be people meeting each other. Because um, Silent has decided, you know what, since I don't have my surge yet, I probably should be in the jungle for a while Radiant to try and get my farm up slightly. So he is in the jungle. In the meantime, there's gonna be Lena in a lot of trouble and she is gonna drop. That was a telekinesis to her and then a snare and everything else that, uh, that the creeps from, uh, from Godlike could pick up on her. And that's one for one with Lena just being uh, overextending slightly. I, I think she wanted to go ward, but the central ward was there already and uh, that's gonna be her already going down so uh, that's gonna be one that's indeed gonna be one for one now of course it has to be said that it was um it wasn't the naga siren that got the last hit on that one it was actually was it the creeper was it it just goblet that was goblet so it was goblet getting the gold up on that one good a good thing for him to have i mean he's already getting more golden experience than uh, than is equivalent in in on virtus pro if you can ever actually call someone that considering there is uh, no jungle hero really up on virtus pro they i mean they try uh, actually there is of course enigma the um wow I'm blind. But that means, I mean, no, normally you would consider Enigma the fastest farmer in the jungle, if he's indeed, indeed full-time jungling, which he is. Uh, and this way, with uh, Goblet getting the first blood, he is actually doing uh, okay for himself as well. Uh, that's, of course, uh, his equivalent. Wow, I totally, totally had a brain, uh, brain lag there, apparently. Oh well. Anyway, in the meantime, Lena back on the middle lane. And we're still back towards the lane where this is again the only lane that people are actually seeing each other. Don't as we have got, uh, if you compare the Naga Siren to, uh, to the Nyx, of course, to the Lifestealer, I should say, to the Nyx. It, uh, it is fairly even, only two difference on last hit. So for now, we can't really say anything about how this game is going to go. Maybe with the smoke, is going to be able to do something different than Tame and Wild. Oh, what a light strike away from KSI, and that's going to be Tame and Wild being safe. Four heroes here for Empire, and they're not gonna get anybody. Region room picked up by the Garrow. What a light strike array! Perfectly placed from the high ground. And of course, the flat cannon, the first one to scout them out. I mean, the moment they, they came visible, that flat cannon hit them, and Tima Wild, he walked the right direction. KSI didn't hesitate, went for a stun, and got two of them. So, a good job for him for that one. And that is wasting the time of four heroes for Empire on that. 
mid lane. In the meantime, though, it is gonna be Bellio Brain is gonna be able to harass the tower a lot. He is actually trying to push, but on the other side, there is no push going on on the uh, tower just yet. That is, um, <clears throat> that is gonna be the first tower on the side of Virtue Pro dead at some point, especially if there's gonna come help. Here comes Funic. I think KSI, I think you might be in some trouble. Gonna try to dodge something, gonna try to hide himself. He knows that something's wrong, eating his way through the trees, and he can't do that. He has still got three tangos. Uh, and the tower TP actually Ooh, getting cancelled there. That was that was Bane thinking about TPing in KSI. Still gonna be a save. The collab doesn't hit from the Hellbore. Hell bear. And that's gonna be um and that's gonna be ah, KSI picking up some gold. Still sticking around. I mean, there's a slow, there's a telekinesis. If they get that off, she is dead. But uh, they will get the tower instead, and they'll be happy with that as well. And that's gonna be Lawyer Brain picking up the gold for that one, as he actually picked up an energy booster. They're gonna go for some mana boots by the looks of it. In the meantime, it is Tema Wild that is on 15 for 7. Scandal, though. 25 for 11. The difference is big. The difference is definitely big in the meantime. Also, Virtus Pro thinking, you know what, you push our tower, we push yours. Well, that's gonna be that one. Oh, slightly distracted. Uh, they can't they can't push that fast though. I'm kinda curious to see if Empire wants to try and defend this and trying to force out a fight. They have got a level six up on the Naga Siren. They can use it to uh, to initiate if they really wanted to. Um, oh, Timo Wildly from the low ground, Rocket Barrage. Just because he can, he had that regen rune up, so why not spam a bit? Tower still goes down, no defense coming off from Empire, they don't want to fight just yet. They don't want to fight just yet, so we're gonna see Rubik uh, with boots actually, he has got some gold up in him. He's, um, he's gonna be hiding, seeing... I'm kinda curious to see if they're actually gonna be trying to go on it. I mean, Rubik is mostly there, I think, to defend Scandal, just in case Virtus Pro wants to go. But there's, again, four heroes around here. I mean, Silent is sharing the jungle now with Goblack, so that is not really ideal for them. We see the gold graph going back and forth. It's still very even. The most, uh, that, uh, well, the difference is mostly, is mostly, um, Scandal and, and Tame My Wild, I would say. Um, and it's just, it's just going back and forth. Tower for tower, of course, as well. And I thought, blow your brain farming. Um, yeah, he's farming very far out on the wrong side of, uh, of the river, I would say. But he is, uh, he is backing off now, it's a bit safer, just in case the TPs would come in and he's gonna be going, hey, what do you know, in the jungle, just like the rest of his team. And uh, this is looking like uh, very slow, like normally you have people saying that Asian Dota is, uh, is, uh, is the uh, stale Dota, the, the farming game. But we just cast out Asian, Asian Dota this morning and let me tell you, there was really nothing stale about that. There were kills all, all the time, all of the time. Um, mostly for one team, however, that was a bit of a shame, but it was um, it was still very kill heavy in this game so far Both of the teams seem happy with not really getting anything uh, done right now Or at least just happy with farming for now and and I mean who's to blame you have Virtus Pro is thinking You know what we've got ourselves a Garrow Copter We've got ourselves a life stealer and the team fight potential is definitely there as well with the with the black hole there So we're not gonna be forcing out anything until we got our core items up and for Empire they're thinking the same thing. I mean, the lanes should, in theory, be stronger for Virtus Pro if there was actually lanes that people were hitting each other rather than just the mid lane. Uh, so, well, so um, it is going to be Empire that is, um, you know, probably also a bit, bit okay with just letting things go the way they are. They are going to be farming up the puck, getting a blink dagger off on him when he gets it. They're going to be farming up Lawyer Brain so he can actually be that carry that they want him to be because they don't really have any other real semi carry apart from perhaps Goblack, which he is probably going to be trying to be because, you know, there's already the Rubik to be the supporting role, so it's going to be enchantress that can be turning into that semi carry that is, is very strong and of course funny can do the same thing if he can steal the right spells can be that big nuisance to a game but if in the meantime in the meantime it's not gonna be looking for kills for now it is just gonna be farming 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 who can farm faster who can farm more and that is also why I'm gonna put up the net worth because we have got ourselves a hand of Midas up on the life stealer so that will be a difference that will be uh, between him and Blow Your Brain. As Blow Your Brain gonna be put in a nightmare. That's gonna be Light Strike Array as well. Here comes Enigma. They wanna take him down. Black Hole being used for that Rubik. Getting a Telekinesis up and the song, and he gets away. 
And that was no level 60 up under up on the Rubik, but with the telekinesis and the stun, able to stop the black hole from going through and blow your brain. He's gonna TP himself out and we'll be safe. Three heroes deployed from Virtus Pro using the black hole, not getting a kill. And they weren't ready for Funny to be standing around there as so the cooldown is gonna come down mid just to just to defend his uh, tower. Because the push came in from uh, from Goblack as well out of the jungle. And in the meantime, Virtus Pro, they are the first ones to actually break the Maybe break the spell. They're gonna be going on the lane where they haven't gone before, on the bottom lane, gonna be pushing, maybe trying to get down a tower. Well, in the meantime, it's still the top lane that has got Airman still farming freely. He is pulling ahead on net worth because of that Hand of Midas. We might see a Hand of Midas up on the Naga Siren as well, just to be able to keep up with him. Uh, but we'll... Uh, we will find out uh, shortly. As in, in the meantime, I mean, he's got 1600 gold. He could have also go for radiance. We've seen Naga Sirens have different kind of builds over the over the the run of time that we've seen Naga Sirens. Radiances are common. Mata styles are common. I mean, more illusions. Who doesn't like that? But which is uh, gonna be for sure. We won't know yet. As we see, Ness is gonna be finding uh, funny there. Telekinesis there. Just uh, just defensive. While well, he was there by himself. Bane, he probably wants to try to get the level 6 on this lane to see if he can get something with the Fiend's Grip going. And if he gets level 6 before uh, before the Rubik, there will be of course a time when he can just freely cast his Fiend's Grip without being having fear that it's gonna get stolen by that Rubik. We're gonna see if he's gonna be uh, able to get that experience without dying, because that's, that's gonna be pretty uh, pretty important. In the meantime, it's gonna be Silent and Airman that are just uh, exchanging a couple of blows here on this, uh, on this top lane. Airman being very far forward again. But again, I guess he feels a bit safe with that infest invisibility room picked up by the Gyrocopter, but he's just gonna go mid to continue countering a Scandal there. Scandal, who is indeed gonna go for Blink Dagger. And, um, oh, Iron Shell doing a lot of damage to Airman, but yeah, he feels safe. He has got an infest also to heal himself up, so really, I don't think he's all too worried. One kick all up on him is we're probably gonna see him going towards the armlet. Standard issue. And Rubik also trying to get himself a uh, level 6 going as we have got NS in the meantime 14 15 for one um, I'm normally calling out supports uh, last hit but we have been seeing it in the meantime mid lane is where it's at it's gonna be team of wild that's gonna go down cooldown coming down almost killing off scandal but he is gonna be able to stay alive there blow your brain helping out with an ensnare and uh, it's gonna be scandal that's gonna be just fine and I guess that was Gyrocopter going for the kill and then getting surprised by how many people that were actually there to support scandal Nice try though, nice try. You gotta have to get those kind of kind of tries. I mean, if it not doesn't work, okay, we're gonna have Silent gonna get uh, picked off there. Fiend's grip demonstrated for the first same time, and um, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be that. In the meantime, TP back in from KSI towards the mid lane. Tier one tower is gonna be pressured here. Blow your brain using his uh, images to do, uh, try and get that. In the meantime, though, tier two tower middle top top. Is also gonna get uh, pressured slightly, but none is gonna go down just yet. It is gonna be Rubik that has got his level six, so also gonna be happy that he has that and gonna be trying to uh, to steal some some good spells. Mostly, of course, the black hole and the fiend script. And Tamer Wild is just gonna go back to farming now, die having died once. As the ancients are just going to be continue to be stacked. I mean, that's going to be something that Tamer Wild can be picking off later on with that uh, with that flat cannon. And he has to be careful though that um, that is not going to get picked up in the Naga Siren because if she gets enough farm and if she gets enough support from her team, she can also take that down. And they're not having their own ancients being stacked though. Scandal back inside the mid lane as well. Now got an assist, 1800 gold. Still slowly but steadily building towards his blink dagger. It is still going to be Airman that's pulling ahead in the gold though. That hand of might is making the difference, all the difference in the world. As uh, we actually got Tamer Wild not as high as I was expecting him to. It's um, it's uh, the Enigma. It is Santa that is higher than him right now, and he's gonna be going towards the BKB. Now the thing is, I mean, he'll be able to get stunned. Like, well, he, of course he'll. The stun won't stop him from casting a black hole anymore. That's what I mean. But uh, he will still be having spells stolen. That's. Uh, yeah, if you want to stop that, you have to get a Lincoln. So maybe we're gonna see him having that one as well, or maybe he's just gonna try to be very, very careful. Now the thing about a black, uh, BKB also in this game, if you are the first one of your team, uh, if you're on Virtus Pro, to get your BKB up, and you use it, and there is a song, then you are gonna be the only one of your team that is able to get attacked by the opponent team. So it might actually, in a way, work against you, if you are not careful. 
as this scandal indeed picks up a blink dagger and they're gonna be on the bottom lane there's gonna be five here from Empire there's so far there's only two here from Virtus Pro with the third one uh, backing off there Santa doesn't want to be here smelling trouble and that is indeed um, yeah TP out there from the bank gonna go towards the top lane so no more five euros to Empire bottom anymore either they realize that the, that uh, boat has sailed ship has sailed that's a saying the ship has sailed yep no boat though I'm gonna be, uh, it's gonna be see scandal. I mean, even with this blink, or blink dagger, I was kind of expecting him to maybe try and do something more here. But so far, again, Empire just seems happy with the way things are going. We have got a couple of pickups for both teams. I mean, it's two for two. Oh, bit of excellence from the opposing team, I would say. Haste rune up on Tame Wild. Okay, okay, Tame Wild actually um, tried to go for a kill and then died. Um, so he was the one that actually went for a kill. Nagus Iron picks up the tower. Rock Barrage is not going to be happening uh, on the real Blow Your Brain because he is going to be backing off. He did uh, try to get the uh, Ancients down, got most of them down as we have got Airmen coming in from the side. Silent back on that top lane. We do also have the Fiend's Grip with a smoke up in the form of an S. And as soon as Silent moves out of range of that tower, he is going to be the target for them. But I think he's going to be careful. I mean, it already happened once. He doesn't want it to happen again. And uh, it, it is gonna happen again, because here comes the Fiend's Grip. TP is gonna come in though, and is it gonna be in time? There is gonna be Bane. Is he gonna be able to steal something? He didn't, he still stole the Rocker Barrage. Bane gonna go down though before anything can get stolen from him. It's gonna be a lifestyle that's gonna be able to get away. Santa coming in, forcing the rest back. I was actually kind of thinking that there would have been a Fiend's Grip stolen, but that wasn't the case. That wasn't the case at all. Still one for one, still an okay trade, I would say, with the Dark Seer for a support Bane. With now Airman being forced away by the illusions from Lord Rain, who comes in for himself as well. He picked himself up a relic, so is gonna go for that Radiance. And will be transitioning into a, uh, a very annoying split push hero with that. Radiance gonna see in the meantime, Virtus Pro, they are the ones to get to lay that most pressure on the towers, I would say. Uh, that is gonna be silent again, in a lot of trouble. Cooldown coming down, can they actually get him? There is not gonna be a home missile, and the surge away will be in time for him to, uh, will be enough for him to get away, as we have got Goblet coming in. He's gonna get stunned up by KSI. Here comes the brain step as well as the Rocket Barrage. The heal is not gonna be enough, and he is gonna go down. Santa coming in with the kill, as we have got a pause from KSI. What a timing for a pause. Bane disconnected while he is just standing there under the tower. He doesn't have a Fiend's Grip anymore. He doesn't have a Brain Step for another 8 seconds. There's 4 here from Virtus Pro. This is going to give Empire all the time they need to discuss what they're going to be trying to accomplish here. If they're just going to back off or if they're going to go in. And this could be seen as a magical pause. But they can use it as such. That's more what I'm trying to say. So we have got Darkseer, he is gonna be uh, able to get away, I feel like he has got a surge in 6 seconds. Santa already on the way out, he does have a black hole, but uh, with uh, both Blow Your Bane coming in as well as Scandal, and of course, Phonic should- Oh, he doesn't have a TP. He cannot TP in that if- I don't think they see that, do they? No. Virtus Pro does not see that, uh, K that's, uh, that Phonic doesn't have a TP, so they will not uh, be, um, s well, finding themselves more safe because of it. They are gonna stick around. Blow your brain. Coming in, has got the song to initiate if he really wants to. There he goes! Coming from behind, but what kind of damage can they actually do? Four versus three. Scandal's gonna come in with an orb as well. Black Hole is gonna be done, but Santa getting silenced instantly. Gonna go down, Light Strike Array. Still with some Blow Your Brain, as now the rest of Virtus Pro gonna be getting away. It is still the Dark Seer that went down. Nice Dream Coil, hits on two. Phonic still not here, doesn't matter. Team My Wild gonna run away from the creeps from the Enchantress, dodges the orb. And it's still gonna go down to the blink in from Scandal, but here's gonna come a Fiend's Grip. And that is gonna be Scandal in a lot of trouble. Scandal still alive. Phase shift. Can he blink? No, he cannot. KSI picking up the kill. Now NS has a nightmare up on the Naga Siren. Naga Siren, blow your brain. Gonna go down. Airman coming in. And this is a fight that was in favor of Virtus Pro in the end. It started out so well for Empire, but just the lack of having Funic there is actually was actually costing them. They had in the end everybody of Virtus Pro on this bottom lane, but it was Funic that wasn't here for his team to help them out. And Ness is gonna scout him out. It is daytime. He saw him, and he is gonna be uh, he's gonna be backing off uh, as he uh, plays the ward before uh, jumping himself back onto uh, to the bottom lane to run himself home probably. 
But what a good fight for Virtus Pro. It is two kills in their favor. We have got the gold grab because of that, and because of course the tower dropping towards 2k. I mean, it looks like a super steep drop, but it's you know it's still only 2k. 17 minutes in the game, not just that, not that much just yet. Uh, experience graph showing a bit more clear though. It has been um, it has been Virtus Pro that their their roaming arounds have been just a bit more successful than Empires, and they have been able to, to get more kills, so more experience going their way, as we are also seeing Roshan being taken down, so more experience going for them. Empire, though, they realize that's going on, they're gonna come in, they have got that ward standing right there, uh, let's see if they're gonna be in time, they've got, got, of course, got the vacuum uh, to try and do something, Aegis still gets picked up at Lifesteal as well as the Roshan going down, and that's gonna be... Uh, still them going in. Nightmare being stolen. And that's gonna be Santa already going down. Timo out gonna get dropped as well. Vacuum Darks here will doing the works. KSI is gonna be the last one. Ages getting used. And Airman, can he get away? Can he eat him his way through this? He should be able to, but he doesn't know who to attack. He's gonna so die. There he goes. Five heroes down on the side of Virtual Pro. And that is gonna be a Roshan that they are gonna regret having taken. Not even a song used for that, just the pure vac pure AoE damage that Empire could throw at them with the vacuum and the Dark Seer roll, and of course, the Riptide, don't forget that, minus armor for everybody. And it was just it was just too much. It was just too much to deal with for Virtus Pro. weren't ready for that. And most importantly, I do believe that the mechanism wasn't uh, wasn't even used or was on cooldown for uh, for Empire so for Virtus Pro. So that is actually quite a bit of a nuisance, uh, or that could have been their 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 save. Cold I'm gonna just force everybody back with the silence still uh, funny still getting um getting slowed by that, but I don't think they're gonna be able to go in on that one. Bracer now also up on an S. I mean I guess Virtus Pro still got the gold from the Roshan, but I'm not sure if that's something that you should be all too happy about. Counter warning because he knew exactly where that word was. And then we see Virtus Pro, they're they're roaming around together, they're farming together. For now, or at least these two are. Making sure that they're not going to get picked off here by Empire. Something that, of course, they have got a good team for. I mean, with that with that puck, as well as with the Naga Siren to set up kills. The Darks here to run in with the Surge. They definitely have got what it takes to uh, to pick heroes off very quickly. Mechanism, by the way, up on Silent, as we have got Kiyos. I also going for Bracers. That's got 16 on gold. Might be going for a Blink Dagger. As uh, I think he's gonna be uh, trying to pretend that he's not there because he is gonna be surrounded by enemy heroes right now. And there's all five heroes from Empire on the top lane, and uh, and yeah, that's gonna be KSI gonna be TPing himself out of there into safety. They're gonna give up their last tier one tower. Uh, there's still one tier one tower standing on the side of Empire themselves. They have got, of course, a tier one mid that is still out there. Uh, so that actually puts uh, that puts Empire one tower ahead of uh, of Virtus Pro. The gold graph going back towards the zero line with that, and experience graph already after last fight is gonna be one k gold in favor of Empire. But anything can still happen. This game so far has been very even. Maybe with uh, blow your brains uh, radiance being ready, they will think like, okay, you know what? We're ready. We're gonna go for five man Dota. We're gonna go for a push, and we're gonna go taking your towers. Forcing out team fights that you're not ready to take just yet. Though Virtus Pro, I have to say, if there is a good black hole, they can definitely take that. Alina picking up a blink dagger indeed, but uh, but yeah, that's gonna be um, yeah, that's gonna be curious to see. It is uh, Empire that backs off after taking down most of the tower's health uh, with Lawyer Brain already back to farming on that bottom lane. Uh, and let's the courier fly over time. Now he's gonna be getting the recipe uh, towards him on the bottom lane. Scandal, blink there complete. Gonna go for a sheep stick after just to have more control. Of course, he is that he is that big control hero with the silence, with the dream curl, and soon also with the sheep stick. As um, we're gonna see the BKB still being built up by Virtus Pro. Garrocopter doesn't has have his one complete just yet. Uh, even though I actually uh, it's quite late for that. He, he died three times, so I guess I'm gonna forgive him for that one. And Nygma is still having to uh, fight up trouble with getting the Mithra Hammer as well. But only has to have the Mithra Hammer, so only 900 gold to go, and then he has that one complete. Uh, with the towers going down, or not going down just yet, I mean, apart from uh, that from two tier ones. I mean, it's gonna be a bit difficult for all the supports to get their core items up as well, even though, you know, Helena already getting herself a Blink Dagger is pretty, uh, pretty nice to see. But, um... But yeah, the the towers actually would mean a lot right now to Virtus Pro because they they are just missing their core items, and with those they would have been able to take those fights and they would have been able to uh, to do all the things that they would want to do. 
Uh, with Airman now picking up a Desolator, so he is gonna be the one that farms most up on his side. Actually, he farms most of everybody because he's top of the charts for the net worth, and he is uh, gonna be happy with that. 1100 gold for him, a scandal. Just cleans out the creep wave because he can, and uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see Blow Your Brain second highest up on that uh, net worth tab and he is gonna be going up very fast right now because with that Radiance he can use his illusions, his images I should say, to uh, to farm the entire jungle without really doing anything. He can just sit them there. Uh, of course this one is gonna get countered but he can just sit his illusions with that burn damage uh, in the jungle. He can farm so many places at the same time. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be good for him and it's gonna be good for his team as well. He should be spiking up and he should be surpassing Scandal with that on that worth as well. If we check out the gold per minute, we do see him higher than Scandal already. He's on 415 uh, right now with still 537 up on uh, up on Airman, but maybe blow your brain now. We're gonna we're gonna keep tra track on him, seeing how uh, seeing how the uh, gold per minute actually is gonna change for him. Which it should, which it should. It definitely should. And, and both teams, again, confident farming again. I mean, the last couple of times, it was Empire uh, winning the team fight. Uh, one team fight was, of course, initiated by uh, by Virtus Pro. Well, I, uh, by, by Empire, but Virtus Pro kind of lured it out by going for Roshan. I mean, they should have, they could have expected that. Uh, without the black hole, of course, because it, was, uh, it was, was used earlier already as a Santa disconnect. But um, but both teams are kind of happy with just continuing to farm. Virtus Pro, they of course don't want to be trying to force out a team fight again because you know they just lost a big one. And Empire, they realized that they got that team fight, and part of that reason was that they still knew that the black hole was on cooldown. And they of course, I mean, if you're gonna have a, a dark seer wall and you're gonna be fighting near the Roche pit, that's gonna be the best place for you to fight at because that's just old clutch play. So they're also not going to try to force anything out until Virtus Pro perhaps tries to force out a black hole. And maybe then we're going to see Empire pushing a bit more than they are right now. And, and I have to say, I mean, in the meantime, with just farming, Empire also has a lot of potential to just split push. We have actually four heroes here from Empire looking for an opening. Maybe trying to pick up the Santa, Santa before doing anything else. And that is indeed going to be the case. No black hole for the next fight, or at least for another 50 seconds. And this should be Virtus Pro running for their lives back towards their tower. Airman is going to be the one that gets scouted out. And there's going to be a dream call, but he's going to rage and he's going to turn around. He's going to call for his team. Come here, team. We're going to fight this. But I'm in a snare. I can't do anything. Santa coming in. Malif is up on the dark. So you're looking for the black hole, but the vacuum is going to try to stop. And there's the black hole. It's up on two. And Scandal actually whiffing his silence. It's gonna be a song that's gonna be allowing people to retreat though, but as Silence is actually already going down a scandal, I can't believe he actually used his, uh, he actually used his waning rift just, you know, out of the, like, oh, link forward, stun, and that's a kill. But yeah, you saw that too, so that's, I don't, I don't even need to try and pronounce it properly. In the meantime, it's gonna be Blur Brain that's gonna be scouted out as well, and that is gonna be a good fight for Virtus Pro, but I have to say that's partly because of scandal. Just whiffing his waning rift to stop Santa from um, from black holing there, and that's gonna be the BKB complete for him. Should be anyway. If he doesn't have a recipe, um, wow, maybe with dying and buying back, of course, it cost him a lot of gold. So maybe not yet. Of course, he did buy back for that fight. It was a worthy fight. It was a worthy fight. That that's for sure. They're not gonna get anything on the back of that though. No, no tower. No nothing apart from the kills. They don't get anything, and they're actually. Uh, I'm gonna give Scandal a bit of time to farm. He's got 2,900 gold, of course. He's gonna be able to pick up the uh, the Mystic Staff right now. As we have got most of the wards. Actually, the control is gonna be mostly in favor of Empire with uh, knowing where everybody is. Uh, there's also, of course, wards up for uh, for Virtus Pro, but these, is, these are more safe wards in their own jungle to know that they can actually farm inside their own jungle. And, of course, this one... Oh, wait a second. Open wounds. Rubik. Trouble. Ooh, Ghost Scepter. That's the one thing that you can do against a Lifestealer. As we have got Starlight are actually disconnecting from the game for now, but he should, they will probably be back shortly. We might actually have a pause for that, as it has been done before that they had that issue. But, um... But yeah, it's, it's, it, I mean, this board is already being surpassed once by the smoke. And that was, of course, by the way, the, the scandal with this raining rift was, of course, because his blink got interrupted. He was able to blink and then do that, but his blink was uh, interrupted by something, so... 
That is not gonna happen that way. Ghost steps are also up on the enchantress. I mean, they need to have something against airmen. And if you're then having a ghost step, you can at least be trying to stay alive a bit better. As we have 2k gold upon the Naga Siren. What are we gonna see from them? Is it gonna be the Manta style? I would think so. But we're just gonna have to wait and see until we uh, until we know for sure. BKB up on the Garrocopter. So he has that one complete. As we see uh, 1k gold up again on the Lina. Curious to see what she's going to go for next. She actually has smoked up going towards the top lane. We can see the top lane though. It's not going to be having anything happening. We have a Perseverance up on the life tutor. Curious to see what he's going to go for for that. I mean, Lincoln's? Yeah, could be. Just in case that something gets stolen like a Fiend script, perhaps. But other than that, yeah, the Lincoln's. It could be. It could be. Fiend's grip! Silence! I think Silent has been hit by that Fiend's grip quite a bit already. I think he's starting to hate that. And S might want to use one of his spells just to make sure that it's not gonna get stolen. But I think he uh, is well aware of that, so we'll... We'll not see Funic with that in the meantime. Funic has been getting, uh, has been trying though. I mean, he has a brain sap. The only reason he has that is because he tries to stole the Fiend's grip. Uh, but we haven't really seen Funic making that big of a difference uh, yet, or at least he has been making a difference, yes, but not as big as we would expect with the amount of spells that he can steal on Veritas Pro that are such big impact spells with the Fiend's Grip and the Black Hole and basically everything that the Lina has as well. Regen Rune is going to get the Knight. Roshan is up once again. Now Veritas Pro, do you really want to try this? Do you really want to try this? Last time they were here, didn't end so well. Fade Bolt gonna go through. This time they back off when they see them coming. And Song actually trying to start off and they are all up on the high ground. Blow your brain, is he gonna go in though? Are they gonna go in? They see them of course with the satire. Satire already going down though, that's Airman's infest. Courtesy of him. Now Open Wounds forced that forward though. They're gonna go in. We have to be sure that Santa is safe. He has got a black hole. There goes the vacuum in the dark sea wall. Santa's got his BKB up and he whips his black hole entirely. The black hole got still stolen though and Rubik gets himself to Life Strike Ray trying to help out Laguna Blade up on the Rubik but he stays alive with a mech charge helping him out. No scandal, Dream Coil whips, uh, whips entirely as well. It is Santa that goes down for the first one. Now Tame My Wild, who will be dropping as well. Rocket Rash trying to do what he can. As Fiend Grips still hits up on Scandal. Airman trying to do something, trying to eat him up, and he can actually do that. There's a phase shift though. Oh god! Oh god, I that was a Fiend Grip stolen. That's a team wipe again on the side of Empire. And I just said, like not even a minute ago, I just said that. I mean, I haven't really seen him stealing any of the big spells yet, you know? And it's something like the Fiendscape or the Black Hole. And what does he do in one fight? He just steals them all. He just steals them all. Funny can do that. But I have to say, I mean, Black Hole doesn't need anything. Dream Coil doesn't need anything. I mean, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. And of course, the only reason Scandal's still alive is because of his, uh, his uh, face shift and the one second he had, apparently, before he went down to pop it. When uh, Airman was hitting him, the four staff actually helping him out. I mean, that would have, if the four staff wouldn't have been there, the Scandal would have gotten one extra attack from Airman and he would have died. But that's gonna be the Roshan going in favor of Empire once more. And what a team fight that was. Once again, Empire though, they're pulling ahead. My 1k gold! <laughs> it's not that much just yet, but the control of the game with those team fights is definitely going in their way. Of course, it, it does rely a bit on Funic if he gets those kind of steals. That does make a big difference. Uh, but um, but yeah, they are they they did get four extra gold, four k extra gold from that fight. Experience graph is gonna show it a bit more clear, of course. I mean, the, the experience graph is always a bit more drastic than the gold graph because the later the game goes, the more experience you get for kills, and you know it 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 just it, it changes in value, if you will. Uh, they actually got about seven thousand five hundred extra experience for that for Empire, as they were behind before that, but you know now back on top of that one. And uh, yeah, I, I, I kind of really do think, like, I, I did ask Rich Pro, do you really want to try this? I don't think they would have. I don't think they wanted to. The song, of course, setting up for something brilliant for Empire, and they want to try to go again, knowing that the Black Hole might still be on cooldown. Perhaps. Yeah, 50 seconds. Smoke up. And uh, still picking up the Haste Rune, and using uh, the Illusions to, uh, to help out. 
Tamer Wild is gonna be the first one. Telekinesis, no, <laughs> the Fiend's Grip, which she still has. There's gonna be a Light Spike Array on two, the Laguna Blade as well, but it's gonna be Tamer Wild that's already down. Santa gonna get a Telekinesis in the face. We'll be getting Fade Ball Puffs as BKB is trying to get away another Light Spike Array. KSI is spot on with those things today. But is it gonna be enough? Is the question. The song is gonna make sure that everybody sticks around, including Santa, whose BKB just ran out. There's gonna be Maleficio upon Silent. He's gonna be able to vacuum everybody close together, and that uh, Dream Coil, and the Raining Rift, and Airman. And is gonna be going down as well. KSI was able to TP himself out of that, and that's a GG well played. The team fights are too much, the combination is too much. Vacuum into Dream Call, into Winnie Rift, into Fade Bolt, into everything that you can possibly think of. And that team fight just. It just. Yeah. I actually, I, th I would say Virtus Pro had the stronger lineup. Have I been proven wrong today? Wow. So we're gonna have another game coming up right after this one. It's gonna be Mouse taking on TCM. We're gonna have four matches for Star that are season five today, day number nine. And uh, we will see, uh, this was only game number one, so we will see, see three more. We're gonna see Empire being on par right now with Virtus Pro. They are exactly the same in points, in games played. We have four games won, two games lost. Three games lost. Mm, I'm not sure. Four games won, two games lost. They actually, they're on par with points. There. Thumbs up for that one. So we're going to see Mouse taking on TCM for the next game. Stick around for that one. My name is Shiver. If you want to support me, you can do so by subscribing to my YouTube, which is youtube.com slash Shiver Gaming. And uh, sorry for the start of the cast. I kind of felt like I had to have a little warming up there going. But I have warmed up and we will see another game coming very shortly. So stick around for that. And uh, oh yeah, I mean Twitter and Facebook and Twitch, etc. It's all under the same name of Shiver Gaming. So if you want to do anything there, thank you. And um, you can do it there. Anyways, here we go. Um, I actually want to let you show that script for a little while longer. Just in case you want to check out what all these people build up. I guess we'll never want to know if it's going to be in Battle Fury, if it's going to be something else for uh, for Airmen. Anyways, now I'm going to swap. Mouse Sports taking on TCM, coming up right next for Star Letter Star Series, Season 5, Day Number 9. Number, number 9, <laughs> don't go anywhere.